In this video, we will see what migration is. Sometimes it is required to migrate HANA system from one environment to the other environment. Now sometimes you need to move objects from one HANA repository to the other HANA repository with the need of recreating it. This is known as migration. Migrating individual views can also be required to send background SQL to SAP support team for troubleshooting. SAP HANA Studio supports migration of HANA system in different modes. You can move complete packages or individual objects with or without SQL. Let us log in to HANA Studio and see how to perform system migration in HANA. In this tutorial, we will see how we can do the migrations in SAP HANA system. So, why we need the uh, need to do the migrations first of all? Let's say if we have three different environments in my landscape, that is my development, quality, and production. So when we are when the developers are creating any objects in the development environment, how you will move them to the quality and the production? So in that case, we have to use the migration in SAP HANA. So we can do the migration in SAP HANA using the delivery units. So we, what we have to do is we have to create the delivery units. We have to add the packages inside them which we want to migrate. And after that we can import or export these delivery units via the different environments. That is my different HANA server. So this is my SAP HANA studio and I am logged into this SAP HANA database. So from where we can create the delivery unit is my SAP HANA modular perspective. So right now I am in my SAP HANA modular perspective. I will click on this delivery units. So I have to select the system in which I want to perform the operation and I will click on next. So once we will click on next, after that we will be able to see all the different delivery units which exist into my system. I can create a new one from here if I want to create the new one or let's say if I want to use the existing one and I want to edit it. If I select this ALF test HANA, so in this I can see that what all different packages are added to this delivery unit. Now I can add more packages to this. Let's say if I want to add this SPRA and if I click on finish. So my SPRA and the sub components are added to the this delivery unit and I will click on finish. So once we will click on finish so this uh, these packages they are added to this particular delivery unit. So once we have created the delivery unit after that we have to export this delivery unit and then we can import it to the different HANA system. So for that we have to click on this export and then from the SAP HANA content we have to choose the delivery unit and we will click on next. Here we have to again select the source system from where we want to export. Then we will click on next and here it will show us the different delivery units which we have in the system. So if we go to the drop down we can select this ALF test HANA. And in this we can again see the list of packages which are there into this delivery unit. So here we have two different options. We have export to server or we have export to client. So if we have the multi, uh, if we have the multi host environment, we can use this export to server directly. But since we don't have the multi host environment, we have to use this export to client. And then we can choose the location where I want to export it. So let's say if I want to export it on desktop and I want to create the new folder and here if I give the name as demo now I want to export into this new folder. I'll select this folder, I'll click on OK and I'll click on next. So here it is telling me the export details that what is the name of the delivery unit, what is the file name that is getting extracted and what is the file path. After that we can click on the finish. So once we will click on finish we can go to that particular folder and we can see that whether this file is extracted or not. So this is how we can make use of the
delivery units how we can do the migrations in SAP HANA so we have to make use of the delivery units we have to add the required packages after that we have to export it and then we can import it to the server or we can directly export it to the server if we have a multi-tenant environment thank you